What's up basketball fans and welcome back to Trash Talk and right now I'm with my guy from Dewa United All-Star MVP Mr. 42 points <laughs> Lester Prosper, Les, what up man? What's up King? What's up good? How you chill, doing man? Chill, How you chill. been? Good, good man, vibing, having a good time <laughs> Man, I really appreciate your time man for doing this Staying positive, thank uh, you, thank you Yeah, that's, that's nice man and then yeah I'm gonna be honest with you during this interview, you know, because we're happy to have you back in Indonesia. Okay. Um, I, hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I know, I know, to be honest, like I know the previous experience is probably not your best experience, you know, in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. But um, before. But it's a learning experience. It is a learning experience. Right. Um, but before the season, obviously, they were united, reach out to you. You have a nice life in Miami, yeah. you know, you're settling in there. But what makes you say yes to come back to IBL and, of course, say yes to Dewa United? Um, just what they were trying to build here. Like, mm -hmm. they explained to me what they were trying to build in this uh, a culture and, um, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, the academy. It's just like a, a long term plan. Mm -hmm. So um, that was a big part of saying yes, also. And, um, you know, I mean, it's an opportunity to come here and um, actually you know, help um, with the the direction that basketball is going, you know, so um, I'm here. A lot of players know me from around the world, so look at all the top players that you have that are here right now. So it's like a good, um, it's a good thing. It's a good direction that the IBL is going in. And the reason why I said yes, is like I'm, I want to be part of something like this, you know. And you mentioned about the Dewa United Academy here, mm -hmm. and obviously you are big in the Philippines. You're going mm -hmm. to Barangay, yeah, yeah, you know, you're doing basketball Clinic, clinics, clinics, you know. Clinic, development, all of that. Yeah, do you see yourself doing that yeah, same thing be, as out absolutely. here? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. for, the, for the big men, for the big men over here, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? For the big men over here, yeah, definitely. Definitely, and right now, 35 years old, mm -hmm. you're averaging, if I'm not wrong, I got this from the website, 17.5 points per game. Mm -hmm and 9.5 rebounds per game. Mm -hmm. What motivates you at this age to be still going this hard? Tell you the truth, man, it's just um, mm -hmm. I take care of my body. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I take care of my body. I'm, I'm doing weight room every day, cold tub, hot tub. Um, I just love, I love this game, man. God damn, bro. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. It's, it's, it's know, wrong. I love, the, I love this game, mm -hmm. you know, so. That's what it is with, um, with what motivates me. Just mm -hmm. love, love, I'm just passionate about it, you know. And you came here, they were united. You met Galvis, Solano, Jordan Adams, mm -hmm. Vario. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's so much fun, man, you know, to be around you guys. You know, you guys always jokes around. I think the chemistry just, you know, it's just there. What, what makes you guys click? Um, to tell you the truth, like, our personalities are all different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm probably the crazy one there, but, you know, you know what I mean? so it is what it is. Um, Tavadio's the quiet one. Galvis is a little bit, you know, Galvis is Galvis. Um, Jordan? Jordan is, Jordan is like, you know what I'm saying? You know, everybody is just, you know what I mean? 50-50, everybody's 50-50. Me, I'm just over the top. You know what I mean? Me, I'm 100, crazy, 100% all the time. I'm just, you know, so I guess I'm the, the spark of like what gets mm -hmm. things going. You know, I'm the, you know, everybody need that in the crew, the, crazy, the one crazy friend. That's true. Yeah. But I'm always curious about this though. I know you guys like to bet money on half court shot. Yeah. Do, they really, do you really pay the bets or no? Of course, of course. You have to, that's why, that's why I was, uh, that's why I was, I was saying to Jordan because I lost so much money. To <laughs> that's why I went, I went down on my knees and I, I'll pay you an installment. <laughs> Installments. So I'll pay. I'll give you a hundred thousand every day. You're killing me. <laughs> you know. So he's that, running me dry. <laughs> so does this mean that you lost the most money? Yes. <laughs> so what I what I decided to do is take a break from gambling for a while because obviously God is trying to tell me that gambling is not in your forte. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh my God! But, so I took a break from that. Okay. So no more, no more, no more half court shot. I won't say no more. Uh -huh. but you have to know. It's like when you go to the casino, yeah. if you're on a winning streak, you have yeah. to know. I think I won the last one. Okay. I, I think I won the last one. Okay. So you have to know when to leave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I won and I left. You know what I'm saying? So It's 100 bucks per shot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because I think I heard one of the vlogs, it says 800. 
Yeah, yeah, we, we always we always do that. We, we always <laughs> do that. Sometimes we double it. Wow, that's crazy though. Know? But back to you though, I mean like you've been playing really well. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you say the key though for you playing really well? Was it the role that was given to you or was it just you want to prove something? It's the, it's the role. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything to prove first of all. Mm -hmm. I'm a 13 year veteran. <laughs> but I think it's the, um, it's the role mm -hmm. and the position that the coach has have put me in mm -hmm. and also the relationship with me and my coach and me and my coaches, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So like, they allow me to just be me. When you have a coach that allows you to just mm -hmm. be you, you know what I mean? And put you in a situation to, to excel, you know what I'm saying? The confidence goes through the roof, you know what I mean? So you're able to, um, to flourish. And we all can see that you are really happy to be part of this team. Uh, you are very comfortable playing in Coach Pablo's system, like you said, you're mentioning just right now. But just can you just describe your relationship with Coach Pablo and why are you guys working really well together? It's a friendship, man. It's a, it's a friendship. Um, you know, from the first day I got here, he told me, um, you're gonna, I need you to play 25 plus mm -hmm. minutes a game. You know, um, and he looked at me and said, you're not in 25 plus minutes shape right now. <laughs> And I said, I know, mm. but I'll get in 25 minutes plus shape because I love this game, mm. you know, and we just train, train, train. He puts me in different positions, four to five, mm. you know what I mean? And, and gives me leeway to do a little bit of everything that I want to do. And um, if, if I do do something crazy or something like, you know, players, sometimes we mm. do, we get yeah, excited, yeah. we do crazy shit, you know, and um, he's, he will let me know, hey, that's crazy. Don't <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm like, no So problem. he's being honest with you. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, no problem, coach. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So like. Man, it's just like we just have a good vibe, a good friendship, man. And, and tell you the truth, you know the way how he he treats me with respect. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And and I, I respect him so much, man. Him, Joel, mm -hmm. all the other coaches, man. I just respect. You know what I'm saying? So I, when I step on that floor, my mentality just changed. I forget about everything and just you know what I mean focus on trying to win and, and um, you know do what do what I can for this organization because the position that they put me in from mm -hmm. from top to, to to bottom, you know so. You know, I'm just, that's why I go out there. You know, when you like being part of an organization, man, you just go out there and you just, you know, bust your ass, you know, and work hard, you know? So that's, that's what it is for me, man. You know, it's just how they respect me, you know, how they want respect me from the top to the bottom. And when, when you have respect like that, you gotta go hard for your organization, you know? So that's what it is for me. And it shows though, against Pravira, you were a clutch, that, you know? Big blocks, you know, hey, that's big shot. For me. That's yeah. what it is for me, it's just, you know what I mean? They treat me with respect, so, uh, you know, these are hard, the, the boss have his hard working money, you know what I mean? Coach taking time, spending, um, spending night after night, two o'clock in the morning, making up plays, right. going through all types of um, um, defensive schemes and what I should be doing and sending that over to me, you know what I mean? WhatsApp, so I'm up looking at it, you know what I'm saying? Like different stuff, man. But what it comes down to is just attitude. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It comes down to having attitude. You know what I mean, and, and wanting it. So that's what it is. Um, you and Galvis and Jordan obviously is the main part of the offense and the day on Dewa United. Mm -hmm. But how important it is to be still, you know, involving Caleb, Dio, Hardianus on the offense. All the guys are hell of a players. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? These guys, uh, the local guys, are a significant part of the team. You know, they're very, very. They play a very, very um, primary role mm -hmm. in helping us, you know. So, um, Caleb is MVP. Caleb mid-range is serious. His jump shot, his, his IQ, you know, like um, Rio, you know, these guys are high energy kind of guys. You know, even the young guys that are coming in, Raditio, you know, he's, he's learning day by day. It's not gonna be easy, but he keeps mm. learning day by day. So, um, man, you know, they're being tougher. You know, they're coming out there. Patrick is coming out there being tough. You know, and um, as I say, coach, the way how we practice is sometimes it's tougher than games. Damn. You know, so, like, you know, it is what it is. Since day one, but you're a big believer, though, in Raditio, you know, uh, you said that this kid could be a, the best point guard in one, two, three years yeah. in the IBL. I, I, I give him two to three years. Yeah, two to three years. Two to three years yeah. He had an incredible game against Satya Wachana earlier yeah. in the season, yeah. 13 yeah, points, that's, 12 that's, assists. That's, that's, that's just a little bit right now. Yes, yeah. a little bit Absolutely. of the pre. I think he could be a scout, man. <laughs> and what do you see in his potential? The way, he, so he plays like an American. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He plays like an American 
uh, point guard that's like a high schooler, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And you gotta understand why I say high schooler because mm -hmm. Because of the development over there is is more is way beyond the development here, you know what I'm saying. So that's why we're gonna continue to have guys like me come in and help develop these guys and and help them. But um, really, what it is with Raditio is um, mm. he, no matter how much we yell at him, he just he keeps quiet. He takes it and he tries to be better every day, you know. And um, sometimes it could be overwhelming because I had the same issue too when I first started basketball. Like, damn, this coach is yelling at me. Like, you know, and I felt like a little down, you know. Mm -hmm. But then when you grow up in New York and you're around some real dogs, yeah. you know, they're going to tell you, keep your head up and keep pushing. So that's the tr kind of um, attitude that I'm trying to implement, you know, into, into him. You know what I'm saying? Some things you can't teach, but I think the more you hang around around dogs, you become a dog, you know. Yeah, I think, but I think he takes it really well. I think he's very composed. Of course, you know? that's what I'm saying. You know, he's very stoic. Yeah, yeah. being a rookie. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think he should sure. be a rookie of the year too. For sure. Yeah. yeah, and Saturday night, big game. Big game. Much anticipated uh, against Plita Jaya. You guys are 12 game winning streak and they are on a 10 game winning streak. Mm -hmm. Is this a game like you circle on your, or your calendar or is it just not a game for you guys? Tell you the truth. You want me to tell you the truth? Yeah. This, this game is circled. Okay, this game is circled. I don't care if I score nine points, yeah. you know what I'm saying? As long as we get the win. Ooh, it's gonna be spicy. You know? But back to Dewa. Dewa is number one in scoring right now, number one in assists, yeah. number one in steals, number two in blocks. Is there anything that you guys still want to improve, you know, moving forward before the playoff? You know, we're gonna just continue to do what we do. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it. I mean, we got to get better every single day, work hard every single day, and the only competition, the only people that can, only one that could beat us is ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean that's just the way, that's just the way we think. Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 you know, nothing knocking the other teams. You know, because the league is going to continue to get better and better and better because this is just the first year. You know, saying they're going to have better imports, more money's coming into other teams. You know, so they go out there and find top talent, and tell you the truth. You know, man, um, we're going to have to keep our, our core and, and we're, you know, sometimes, you know, certain situations go, mm -hmm. contract situations, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So hopefully we all can stay together and, 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 and continue to build this dynasty. But you love... You love this format there for the IBL with the oh, yeah, three dope. imports and heritage yeah, yeah. players? Man, these guys, look, look at, like you have a lot of, you have a lot of killer Mm -hmm. Mentality guys, like look at the dude who just scored, you know, um, 45. 45. Yeah, Mike Claus. Mm -hmm. Claus, you know, Mike. Mike is a hell of a talent. And Steve didn't even go off yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and then you have 40 year old. Um, Akeem Scott. Akeem Scott. Yeah. You know, and it's showing you the age is nothing. Come in and play hard against the young boys. You know, and then you have. Um, we just played Satya with Chan, right? Um, Ty, Tyree Robinson? Or? No, no, no. We had the, the tall, the, the tall local. No, I'm oh, talking about oh, local. Oh, Randy. Yeah, he tried Randy. to try to block yeah. me with the blonde hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like his game, man. He's, man, he's going to be solid. He just need guys to continue to work. Like, bro, it's a tough league. And if he gets bulky a yeah. little bit, it's going to be a problem. You know what I mean? Then the guy from the Rands, what's his name from the Rands? Um, the strong guy who was at the All-Star game on my team. Uh, Rands on your team. Uh, it's, woo. Devon? It's not Devon. No, from, from the Rams, the strong, the strong local. Oh, Argus, Argus, yeah. Argus, yeah. He's, man, he's, he's solid. Good. He's solid. They call him Thanos. Okay, I like him. <laughs> yeah. I like him. He's solid. You know what I mean? But yeah, the league is, the league is super improved. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man, I'm very excited too. Hopefully, this format can stay forever too. Because yeah. it will help the locals too. And plus, what's happening is the locals are improving by playing against top tier talent, you know, on top of that. So when some of the um, the locals go into international competition, they're like, oh, we saw 610, yeah. we saw 611, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's true, yeah. that's true. Last question, Les, you scored 42 points, mm -hmm. win the All-Star MVP, is this going to be Leicester Prosper's year? <laughs> you know what, man, I just take it one game at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, one game at a time I take it. I don't really think too much about the All-Star MVP happened because I was I was just hot and, and my teammates were giving me the ball, you know. Um, but, you know, my year, I, I don't know what my year means. I, I hope it's our year, you okay. know, not, 
not my year. This is not an individual, you know, um, accomplishment that I want to, you know, feel some way about or I'm, or I'm chasing. I want it to be an hour accomplishment, you know, a day war accomplishment, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a championship or however far we go. You know, I want us to just go hard and be proud of what we have done, you know, in the organization to be proud and, sh and it shows that we're, we're moving in the right direction. That's all you can do, take big steps and continue to move in the right direction. You know, so I want it to be our year. That, that's the perfect answer right there. Yeah. Last, thank you so much. Thank you. Looking forward for Saturday. That's going to be a big game. Good luck. Yeah, and, I'll see you there. Yeah, and thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the interview. Don't forget to come here on Saturday night. Yeah. Big game, guys. You don't want to miss it. PJ yeah. against Dewa. So, once again, then, thanks. Then the next game, the Rams. Yeah. We got back-to-back top-tier talent. You know, that's what, that's what it is. It's going to be a great to weekend. It's going to yeah. be a great weekend. Yeah. So. Maybe I get two days off. <laughs> so, guys, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys again next video. Peace out, everybody. Yo necesito dos duas. Oh. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs>